Jumpkin Pool over here in Porville. A little, little cold out today. Here's one of my side covers for the loader. Oh, got a little water in there. So anyway, got two new batteries for the wheel loader here. Also called Grease Lightning. So we got thousand watt or a thousand amp cold a thousand cold cranking amp batteries. Got one here. And the other one in this side cover here. I still there's another bolt and bracket I gotta put on there. I gotta hustle up some bolts and then it bolts right here. Yeah, it's cold out today. I don't know how cold it. I know it's going to get a lot colder, but don't have the block heater hooked up on there. It hasn't been hooked up. I'm going to see how this starts. And Debbie said she's going to record it. We're waiting. We're waiting on a call to go pick up a little bit of scrap metal, so we don't know what all we're going after. If they're going to call us today. We got our new flapper up there. So I don't have to remember to put the coffee can over it. Getting things done to it, yeah. You want to try to film it, Debbie, and I'll see if it's gonna start. Sure. Let the starter cool every now and then. I can see the reflection in the window, so I can kind of watch it too. Yeah. He's thinking about it, ain't it? He's smoked out, now. Yeah, it? that's why I'm kind of. I smell something getting hot, baby. Oh, do you? That's not good. I think he's just that smoke. Gotta watch that starter, but they're made to do that cranking quite a bit. <laughs> thought it was trying. Oh, it's trying. Like I say, I can plug the block heater. I'm just experimenting right now. Oh, yeah. Block heater. It fired right up, but...
how do I do it, Eddie? Yeah. You get smoked out? Well, that's the diesel for you. But that thing will clear right up nice when it warms up. There's a valve body i got to get into way up in there. That's not that. Right there. And that controls the uh, tilt and the forks up and down. I actually do got a bucket for this all back. i got to pull that apart. There's a couple cables right there. I'm glad we put these seals in there, the hydraulic seals, and leave them over. That's a dry set. Yeah, this is a clear up and get it. I won't do that. I'll keep this on the block heater. But I just wanted to try it cold. Once in a while you'll get them out in the field or something. and. You can't get the electricity, so I suppose the guy could put it on a generator to warm that block up. As soon as I'm just putting it together, I wanted to see what it does in the winter, and I didn't have to give it no ether. I'm going to let it sit here and run. You don't usually want to shut a diesel off. Let them warm up real good. Just don't just start them and shut them off, especially in the cold weather. It's going to be fun. I'm still working on it. That stand belt, I tightened that once. Looks like it's loose in there. Not too bad. I've got my new filters on yet. I think that's what the vibration is. This is the junk of Pooh and Debbie over here in Porterville. Yeah, so we're ho hoping we go pick up some junk today. I don't know. <laughs> Not that we ain't need to or get a few things going. I got to move some of the stuff out of here. I did get extra antifreeze. When I buy this, I buy pure antifreeze. I don't like to pay for water. So that was on sale for like $6 a gallon. I got two of them. I did get starting fluid, a couple cans of that. Window washers on sale for like a buck fifty. Brake cleaner, I gotta get this stuff out of here and put it in my another starting fluid. Usually I use the start fluid, that's some carb cleaner. I usually use the start fluid on lawnmowers. Instead of cranking them snow blower stuff like that I just give a little shot of start food. It take a while to warm up. Kinda of wanting to see it clear up before I set the video down. It is a clear right up. It doesn't smoke. It's a good engine. Let's see what our oil pressure is looking like. Idling. Hey, I'll let this run a while. Just thought I'd do a cold start of the new project, new old project. Oh yeah, it's clearing up now. Yes, I've been working on this thing too. And it's freezing out here. My fingers are about froze. I got the dash all out. Got a cable. I can't seem to find one. Looked at the auto parts stores and on eBay. It's a cable that goes from uh, the temperature. I plugged it back in last night so I could. Yeah, it's the temperature control. The top one. It's froze up. And really ain't no way to heat it or anything. <coughs> Messing around with it and had the blower, had to get the blower working. 
run the battery dead playing around out here last night, so I stuck it on the charger. Debbie, you can go ahead and warm up. Jeez. So yeah, this thing, just tinkering around with it. I had to fan out, I got that working now. It's just a couple connections down here. That's the deal that's a speed control. I don't know what the actual thing is called, but it was just corroded up. Check the fan, it spins over good, but I oiled it up anyway. It seemed like a good day to go and have another cup of coffee. Ah, oh, for the heck of it. Let's make sure the cord's out of the way. Sometimes I get in a hurry and end up making making another project for myself. I got the glove box out and I should probably figure out how to put a radio in here before I put it back together. Yeah, I'm kind of putting it together in case I want to get it on the road. I gotta have some heat in here. And I can actually flip the cable lever. That's the first time that's been started today. I can actually flip the cable lever outside and get by with it, but I'd like to put it original. I think I've got the cable in my truck over there. Yeah, this thing was starting the other day and nothing wanted to start. Yeah, it's just this cable right here that seized up, I pulled the little plug out of there. And this part ain't froze up, so I could actually put it back together and flip that and have heat. I hate to do that, because that's a pain to get that controller out of the dash if I put it back together. So I'm going to have to get some more fuel in this thing, but I'm going to put a can of uh, seafoam in it, or a couple cans in it too. I was going to get that yesterday and forgot, but Jumping pool over here in Portville, just thought I'd do something a little different. Cold start of the old diesel. Definitely pretty nippy out. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Goodbye now.